Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Debian 12.9 on VirtualBox. So go to Debian official website that is debian.org. Scroll down, click on other downloads, then click on download mirrors, then go up, then click on DVD, either CD USB or DVD USB. So I am going with DVD. Okay. Click on this AMD R i386. Then scroll down. See here Debian 12.9 ISO file and its size is 3.7 gigabyte. It is released on 11th Jan. Okay. So click on this ISO file to download. See download started. Go to downloads. See here its a size is 3.7 gigabytes. I have already downloaded same dvd iso file so i am cancelling this one in your case wait until download completes once download is completed then open oracle virtual box if you want to install oracle virtual box then there is a link in the video description or you can search for my youtube channel for virtual box installation on different operating systems see these are the virtual machines are there in my virtual box manager if you want to create new one you have to click on new or machine and select new both are same now provide the name for the virtual machine i'm giving deb 12 9 vm and this is the virtual machine name. then select the folder to store this virtual machine files and folder select other select the path where you have the enough space create new folder give the name for the folder select the folder then select the downloaded ISO image. Then select the ISO image. Open. See, once we selected, type has been changed to Linux and subtype as Debian. Version is Debian 64 bit. So, I don't want unattended installation. So, select this checkbox that is skip unattended installation. Then, hardware by default it has selected 2 gigawatts memory. I am going to increase it to 4 gigawatts. Number of CPUs to hard disk. 50 gigabytes. This is the virtual hard disk. For okay with all the settings, click on finish. Still want modify settings. Click on settings or right click on the virtual machine and select settings or machine and settings. All three options are same. Okay. Now click on start to start the installation of Debian 12.9 on virtual box. Click on it. Use up and down arrows and select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter. Then select the language and click on continue. Select your location. If your location is not listed, click on other. Okay. Then click on continue. Select keyboard language and continue. Now provide the host name or computer name. We can also change this host name later also, but it is up to you. Then click on continue. I don't have any domain, so keep it as blank and continue. Now provide the password for the root account. Confirm the same. Then click on continue. Now we have to create or set up user. Then click on continue. See, this is the user full name and this will be the user name. If you want both as both same, keep it as it is or if you want to provide some other username, provide. Otherwise, click on continue. Provide the password for this user. Then click on continue. See here, time zones are all related to United States because we have selected country as United States. That's why it is giving these time zones. Okay, select the time zone from this list and click on continue. Partition is I am going with use the entire disk. It is up to you. So select it and click on continue. Continue. All files in one partition. So continue. See, this is just confirmation. 
select the finish partitioning right changes to disk and continue this is just confirmation select yes and continue see configure the package menu see i don't have any ex additional media so select not continue no network mirror no i don't want to participate in package user survey so select not it and continue see here by default it by default it has selected desktop environment as zenum but we have different options so it is up to you you can select whatever you want i am going with zenum only so click on continue see now install the grub boot order to your primary drive Select this and click on continue. Select the device and click on continue. See here installation is complete. So it is time to boot into your new system. Make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into new system rather than restarting the installation. Okay, then we have to continue. Okay, so we have to remove the ISO that we have attached. See here, optical drive is empty. ISO, if ISO is mounted here, we have to unmount. Just right, right click on it. Then you have to select remove disk from virtual drive. Okay, this is the way to remove. It is already removed, so go to virtual machine. Click on continue to restart. Click on username and provide the password that we have set. Hit enter. Now click on next. Again next. Next. If you want to enable local services, you have to keep this one. Otherwise, if you want to turn off, turn off like this. It is up to you. Click on next. I don't want to connect any one of these online accounts. Skip. All done. So click on start using Debian Linux. Now click on activities. Open terminal. See here we have the terminal. Open it. Now verify the version of the Debian that we have installed. More slash etc os hyphen release. Hit enter. See we have installed Debian. Okay. Q to quit. Control A. Now the first step after connecting to Debian is we have to update the package. Sudo apt update. Ampersand ampersand. Then upgrade the packages. Apt upgrade. Hit enter. Okay, so this user is not in sudo's file. So switch to root account, then provide the password. Sudo, sudo is not required for root account. Anyway, I am giving sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade hit enter. See here, we are unable to do that. So the solution is go to cd etc apt Hit enter ls hyphen ldrh control a ls more source dot list. See, we have to comment out this one. So, sudo vi sources dot list. Hit enter press i to insert mode. Give the hash symbol at start. Save the file. Hit enter control a. Now run the same command that is sudo apt update. Also paste these lines. Copy these lines. Then go to terminal. Control L ls sudo vi sources dot list. Shift A. Hit enter. Paste it. Save the file. Control L. Now update the packages again. Sudo apt update ampersand sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. I will keep these commands in the video description. Type and hit enter. See, this may take time. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Debian 12.9 on virtual box. Then we have performed post installation steps. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.